you going there fellas? We're going to have a, um, a rogue hazelnut brown nectar. Ale with natural hazelnut flavour. Wow, well, what do you think of that? they got these stupid blokes pictures on all of them. I don't know. They all look like bags if you ask me. I don't know what's going on. Beer's overpriced. Oh, anyway, you've got to try them, don't you? If I don't try them, how can I say they're not the best in the world, you know? Anyway, I'll just show you that before. I'll just mention this one. We had this one up before. It says here that it won the gold medal, won a gold medal at the International Beer Challenge 2013. So that's what I'm saying. It, it was beautiful, you know. It's, it's in there. It's in there with a chance. It's better than, you know, some of those dark beers we had from America. Anyway. The Americans are good, but well, let's see how good they are with this one. Wow. Hazelnut. Yeah, it's like uh, quite sweet, really. Probably a tad sweet for my liking. And it's not bad. Easy to drink. Look, it's only um, it's about 5% or something, 6.2, so it's got a bit of grunt, but it's, um, you know, here and all there, really, I can't, I won't be wrapping that up too much, that won't be in the top 10. Now, I wanted to show you something, when we were in England not long ago, we bought these chips, Tyrrells. And we actually enjoyed them, and uh, I took a packet over to France to give to my English mate, who has a French wife, and gave him to him. Oh, he loved them. He said, yeah, I haven't had proper English crisps. They're not chips, they're crisps in England, aren't they? Anyway, I've got the um, sea salt and cider vinegar. That's not bad. Pretty good. Two bucks a packet here. They weren't cheap in England, I can tell you. I don't know how they do it. Anyway, that's the rogue. And um, yeah, it's not that good. It's alright. Anyway, just to take your mind off the, the beer, I've got a couple of little statuey things here. Got this one here. This is um, a classic. I went to Queensland for a mate's wedding, and we were looking for a, a wedding present. And uh, in one of the shops, I saw this, and it's got. You know, it's pretty hard to see now, but it has all um, ancient writing on there. It's like a, an ancient Khmer script. So I don't know how old it is, uh, but I just liked it, and I just picked it up. It wasn't that expensive. I don't think it's that old. Anyway, and this one, this is a a lady Ganesh. She's pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't know where I picked that up. I can't remember now. I think that was um, antique shop Chinese bringing Chinese stuff in, but that's not Chinese. And this one at the back here, that's a um, a Japanese candlestick holder. And that's, uh, I actually really like this. It's uh, got a lot of detail. Uh, it's been signed at the bottom, as you can see. It's got a bit of a signature on there. Old writing, I don't know how old it is. But it's, I think it's a Japanese student's piece. Uh, from maybe 100 years ago. So there you go, there's a couple of different things to have a look at. And uh, spice up the beer tastings with a bit of a story, you know, not much of a story on those because I picked them up on that one in Queensland. One thing's amazing in Australia though, we had the big gold rush in the 1800s, you know, 1850 it was just starting and then by 1890 it was just going crazy. 
And what they did, they had so much disposable cash with all the gold, they brought in a shitload of antiques from around the world. So Australia, for such a tiny population, we've got this huge amount of antiques that all came in around 1880s, 1870s in the boom times. So over here we can pick up things that are probably you know, 140 years old, pretty easy, and for a good price. I'll show you next time, I've got some Satsuma, Japanese fine pottery from that, from that era. And I went to Japan and they all couldn't believe I've got some, you know, in Australia. How come it's in Australia? Because, yeah, we had all the money in the 1880s. We got everything, all the goodies. Anyway, that's enough of the bullshit. We'll get back to the beer. Anyway, Rogue, yeah, you're a pack of fucking rogues. Sorry, they won't be sending me any free beers. I think I've rubbished all of them. Hung shit on all their beers. Anyway, not to worry, that one's going down alright. Go on. Alright, I'll, I'll leave you with that. And the English crisps, they're not bad. Alright, fellas, have a good one. Cheers.